Hey everybody, this is Mason Stoops, and I'm here today with my friends from Guitar Center checking out the Fender American Ultra 2 Telecaster. So I'm a session player here in Los Angeles. I play at a lot of records around town at different studios. I'm also a producer. I've been working a lot recently with my friend Lizzie McAlpine. She's very cool. I've also been touring with her and Jackson Brown, Marcus Mumford, just trying to play guitar basically as much as I possibly can. Yes, Telecasters are like probably the coolest guitar ever made, but they're also just one of the coolest things ever made. I have an original 52 Telecaster that I love that was found in a barn under a pile of newspapers without its case. And then my main kind of personal telly, it's a Frankenstein. We put a few different necks on it, we've swapped pickups, but that's what's so cool about the Telecaster at its core, it's the instrument remains. You can change pickups, you can swap whatever things you want out, but it's gonna sound and do what a Telecaster does. It's gonna stay in tune really well. It's gonna be really reliable in a session where, oh, I need this kind of a sound, I need something warmer. You know, you're gonna go to the neck pickup. I want something rhythmic and just that will kind of support the song. You can stay right in the middle. And of course the bridge pickup is like one of the most iconic sounding bridge pickup sounds of all electric guitars. If you were going to put this guitar side by side with its great great grandfather from 1952, it would pretty much look from a distance identical. But as you zoom in, there's a few modern changes and tweaks that I think kind of help out with modern playing. And one of the main things, you have a six saddle bridge so you can get really precise intonation. For a lot of people, that's huge. Another really cool feature is the S1 switching system. It's a little knob hidden inside of this knob. And when you push it, it puts the neck and bridge pickups in series. Some other modern features are going to be all these comfort contours just secretly back here. No one's gonna know. You still look very cool from the front. They even have a little angled switch. A lot of guys were doing this in the 70s. You could make a new plate and you could angle the control switch so that it's a little easier to grab on the fly. There's also a really subtle 10 to 14 compound radius. And what that means is down here in the lower frets, it's a little rounder so chords are comfier. But as you work your way up, the fingerboard gets flatter. And what that means is bending and playing up here will be much easier on an old guitar, like an, with a seven and a quarter radius or seven and a half. You start bending up here, your notes fret out. There's all kinds of tuning issues. And lastly, we have the Ultra 2 noiseless vintage tele pickups. These give you a completely noiseless and silent sound, but still kind of retain that classic and warmer vintage tele pickup that we know and, and love. <laughs> I'm going to start with the bridge pickup, just position one on the old control switch. It's going to be a classic tally bridge pickup sound. I might dial in some spring reverb, some slap, a little bit of compression, just to really lean into that tally twang that we all know and love. <laughs> There's like a quiet kind of concern that we all have about noiseless pickups. Like, do they take away vibe? Do they not sound as like full and as characteristic in the way that we know normal pickups do? If you just heard what I heard, that to me sounded like just a classic telly. The way it just kind of jumped out of the guitar and when I dug in it, it had that snap that we know and love. I'm going to stay on the bridge pickup, but I'm going to engage some dirt via my JHS Taco Bolt pedal. Kind of a lo-fi overdrive. That plus this pickup combination should give us a pretty raunchy lo-fi country sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love a lo-fi overdrive, especially in a recording context, the way it can kind of twist your ear in a mix and jump out in exactly the right ways in exactly the right place. Next, let's jump into position two, which is neck and bridge pickup together. This is probably the most universally like used and heard tele position sound, even when you didn't know it was a tele. It's just a classic rhythm guitar sound going all the way back to like Motown records. As far as effects, all I've done is add a little bit of reverb and a little bit of tremolo, just classic Fender amp sounds. That sounded great to me. I love a middle position on a telly, but they also are great for a distorted sound. Okay, I'm gonna stay in the middle position, but engage a little bit of dirt, but I'm also going to engage the S1 switch halfway through. So you'll really get to hear what activating the series switching does. It's gonna go from the classic kind of thinner, brighter telly sound to a more mid-rangey, almost humbuckerish, louder, darker, beefier, radder sound. Check it out. So traditionally, a Telecaster is kind of a brighter, more mid-scoop sound, and that's obviously worked very well for it in terms of a studio and stage instrument. But when you want gain and you think of like Les Pauls, you think of humbuckers, that's a very mid-range pushed, darker but fuller sound. And you used to have to kind of choose one or the other as far as the instrument you would use on your gig. But the S1 switch allows you to get that mid-range push. It's going to engage your dirt pedals in a different fatter way. So last, but certainly not least, we're going to go to the final position, the neck position, kind of my personal favorite position as far as classic telly sounds go. A lot of players back in the day used to swap out their telly neck pickup. It was kind of traditionally a smaller and not maybe as loud pickup compared to maybe a Strat. So a lot of guys are modding them out. This new neck pickup, aside from being noiseless, is definitely a bit hotter and gives you a much fuller signal than I would say any of my vintage Tele neck pickups go. So it sounds really, really good. I'm just going to play a kind of a clean, maybe slightly bluesy sound, but you'll really get to hear the guitar doing what it does best, just classic Tele neck pickup sound. <laughs> I just love the Tele neck pickup, especially this one where it's just a little hotter, it's a little fuller sounding. I could probably stand the neck pickup the rest of my life and have a very, very nice time. But let's move on and maybe check out kind of more of an ambient approach. I'm going to engage some reverse delay, whole bunch of reverb, and just kind of really lean into it.
would say a telly handles ambient style music as well as it handles pretty much any genre. So it makes a telly so great. You can play anything on it. A neck pickup to me is the most elusive and can kind of disappear in a way that I think is really musical. So maybe instead of people hearing, oh, that's just a Strat or that's just a Les Paul, people are going to hear you and they're going to hear what you're playing. And that's something that I think a telly specifically does really well. So I've been playing this American Ultra 2 telly for a while now. I've gotten really comfortable with it. My immediate takeaways are, I really think they've come a long way with noiseless pickups. They sound fantastic, and I encourage you to hear them for yourself. The neck, that D-shaped neck, actually reminds me a lot of my 52 telly, which is cool. So if you're someone who loves tellies, or even if telly is a new instrument for you, you're gonna really get what a telly is about. That reliability, that trust, and that just ability to show up and do exactly what you were hoping for as a guitar, this one really won't let you down. So if you're interested in learning even more about the Fender American Ultra 2 Telecaster, you can head to guitarcenter.com, call one of their expert gear advisors, or just try it out for yourself at your local GC. Mm -hmm.